Charming Giraffe and today we are going to continue to use our leftover paint. This is by the Sargent Art Pouring Medium mixed with the Sargent Art Acrylic Pearlescent Mixing Medium. I've got a 10 by 20 canvas here. This is not a pour over even though it is spray painted. This is just spray painted blue. I spray painted it a long time ago, had a plan for it. Um, I still plan to do that in the future, but right now I need a canvas to do a painting on, so this one is the lucky winner. Um, it is a leftover paint, and I actually have some leftover black paint that was not mixed with the pearlescent mixing medium. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down first just to use it as well as to make sure we get enough paint. I don't think I need to worry too much about it, but ooh, 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 ooh. But as you guys know, I typically over pour versus under. <laughs> so I'd rather be safe than sorry. So that's that. And I'm gonna move this around with my hand just to get decent coverage. I'm not worried about the blue peeking through at all. And so yeah. And I actually hadn't decided what I was going to do yet. Um, I think I still want to do a reverse dip regardless of what the original first pour is. I got the bubble wrap ready. So I loved how those came out yesterday. Um, heck, that little bit of paint was enough to cover the canvas practically. Um, all right, that was fun. And because of me smoothing that all around, there's lots of air bubbles, so I'm gonna go ahead and take care of those. This pouring medium is very, it creates stubborn bubbles. So if you do have them in your paints, I don't think they're gonna pop on their own. Um, it's hard to get them to pop even with a fire, so. I think I'll just do a traveling tree ring pour. I liked how that turned out with the reverse dip. Well, it was a just a standard tree ring pour, but I liked how it turned out on the reverse dip yesterday. Um, this is, again, with the uh, pearlescent mixing medium, so it is a very sparkly. And along with this cup, I also have a little cup of paint as well. Call that good for this cup. And let me grab this other one. Mm, actually, this one is no good anymore. It's like all stuck together, like it's already cured. Like on the top level, it's like all kinds of not good. So, we will work with this. I'm going to tilt to this. Try to get as much full coverage as I can. I don't think it'll be a problem, but we'll see. Trying to get it as full around the canvas first before I start tilting it off. Especially this side down here, where it's not as, doesn't have as much paint. Okay, so far gorgeous. Come back this way. I am a little nervous about the reverse dip since I did put that black coat down first. I'm afraid it might just bring in a whole bunch of uh, little black dots throughout the painting, but I'm going to try it anyways. So, get the bubble wrap make sure you're in frame all right here we go kind of nervous okay all right i think 
we're on track here. And once again, just gonna barely touch it. I just wanna make sure that it is laying with the canvas, not like uh, bubbled up over it. So I don't want the paint to smush in between the bubbles. And to explain that a little better, I just want mm, something colorful. There we go. I just want the paint to touch the very top of the bubble. I don't want it to get in between where the other bub in between where the bubbles are. I want it to just touch the very top. All right. Now, which way? I think I'll just pull it this way so that you guys will see it first. Exactly what I wanted. Gorgeous. All right. Um, I want to save this because I want to do something else with it. Now it's got paint on it, but it's okay. I'm going to take this stick and scoot it. Now I'm gonna put this back and we're gonna do something else really quickly. Cause I did this off camera when the last video and it looked pretty awesome. So I'm gonna try it again with this one. So I've got some four inch tiles, ceramic tiles, and we're just gonna lay these on here. As so um, the extent of the cleaning on these are rubbing them on my short shirt uh, if you want to be a little bit better than that, a baby wipe, alcohol wipe, soap and water, any of that will work. I'll lay these here. There's no paint really in between the dots. So in theory, yeah. Um, I am going to just shift them just slightly, like a bubble. This will make sure, in theory, that the entire coaster gets covered. And then I'm going to lift them. Okay, we got some dots there, some little white spots, but I'm okay with that. It is a beautiful. A little bit more. enough room for all of these. I'm so pretty. Okay. Ooh, that one's really white. been one red one but maybe maybe one of these will show up some more red my fingers are getting slippery now I'm gonna fold that over just so I have room to place this and then our last one mainly black that's okay really fun all right I am going to clean up my hands and then bring you in for a close-up on all of this so first off here is the canvas and it is beautiful. We've got the whites and the blues and greens. You can still see some of the texture from the canvas, but you actually don't see any of the canvas. Just really cool patterns that this technique creates. I think I could do this all day long. <laughs> I love the vibrancy of these colors as well. Hopefully they stay that way when they dry. I will include this in the how they dry video. That will actually likely be tomorrow because I am out. That was all of the leftover paint. I don't have any more of the pouring medium. I do still have the mixing medium, but not the pouring medium. And this is really a test of the pouring medium. So that was the canvas absolutely gorgeous and then here are all the little tiles we created now from the bubble wrap it kind of gives the paint texture but it'll level out 
so that's why you see all the the light glare I don't know there we go try to get it at an angle where it doesn't do that this was the first one we pulled off and got a little bit of the white in between each of the bubbles but that's okay this one's gorgeous it's got all those blues and greens and a little bit of the red in there this one's mainly green sorry trying to get like not the glare and not the shadow this one's mainly white but really pretty another green one multiple colors gorgeous and then black where you can really tell where all the dots were so let me know what you think of these pieces in the comments below and if you've um, tried the pouring medium plan to try the pouring medium or the mixing medium for that matter and the mixing medium is super cool um, I used it a long time ago in some of the very first um, videos posted to the YouTube channel um, but yeah let me know what you think I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and do what makes you happy.